Hi, I'm Bill Lynn. I'm the Vice President of Heritage Arsenal. Would you believe there was a real Captain America? His name was John K. Singlaub, and he's a Major General, the United States Army, retired. Born in California in 1921, by 1943, Jack Singlaub was a young infantry lieutenant who had volunteered for a special classified program within the Office of Strategic Services called Operation Jedburgh. The Jedburgh teams of three agents parachuted into occupied France uh, prior to the D-Day invasion and organized resistance forces to fight the Germans that occupied the country at the time. Jack Singlob was a leader in, of one of these teams and did parachute into France with a knife uh, like this that you see before me, which we'll address in just a minute. Jack Singlob fought in Korea after also fighting with the OSS in China, uh, where he liberated Allied prisoners. By the time Vietnam rolled around, he was the third chief of SOG. Uh, MACV Studies and Observations Group was a classified program where they ran reconnaissance teams along the Ho Chi Minh Trail, and he was the third chief of that program. His contributions to the country are articulated in this book, written by himself, called Hazardous Duty, published in 2001, which I highly, highly recommend. Now to the knife. The OSS stiletto, stiletto being a Latin word, um, and by the Middle Ages, the, uh, the stiletto was being used as a secondary weapon uh, by knights. Uh, an OSS stiletto was issued to its agents because it had a sharp tip and no edge on either side. So for sentry takedown, this was the perfect weapon of choice. This was made by the LFNC company, the same company that made the famous knuckle knife in World War I. Uh, out of the state of Connecticut. Uh, in June 1942, uh, contracts started for 10,000 of these. They uh, cost $2.03 a piece and now are about $2,000 a piece um, on the collector market. These were unmarked because of the sensitive nature of uh, who they were being issued to. So upon capture, there was no distinctive markings that would trace it back to its origin. What is really interesting is the uh, scabbard itself. LFNC was making uh, kitchen implements uh, before the war and actually were using the, the tool uh, to actually stamp spatulas to also make the top of this scabbard. And in the collector community today, this scabbard is still known as the pancake flipper. This is a very, very distinctive um, characteristic of the OSS stiletto, and no other fighting knife in World War II has anything close to this. So we know that this is an original. Uh, what is also interesting is you see this residue here. There was a rubber retaining uh, ring on this uh, uh, portion here that would have kept the top of the knife secure into the scabbard. That has since uh, disintegrated in some kind of heat and storage, and you can only see the residue here. Um, at any rate, we want to think about this week, especially on the 10th of July, uh, the 99th birthday of the original Captain America, John K. Singlaub, who will celebrate that, and we will all celebrate with him together, considering this American soldier and what he did during three of America's wars in succession, a few have ever been at the crossroads of history in the form uh, uh, and in the manner that John K. Singlaub has. And we celebrate his 99th birthday this week, the 10th of July.